The following video asks us to find the slope of the line that goes through two points. In doing this, we need to first talk about what it means to be a slope. Um, a slope of a line is the ratio of the rise of the line, or how much it goes up and down, over one unit, so to the left or right. So how far does it go uh, up or down uh, versus going one unit to the right? Well, to do this, we consider either the definition rise over run or what we're going to talk about, which would be the change in y versus the change in x. So how much does it change over the y-coordinates when it's the x-coordinates are changing? So uh, we write this out as so y1 minus y2 over x1 minus x2. You're going to subtract the x y-coordinates and then divide that by subtracting the x-coordinates. So we're finding the slope of this line, so we need to plug things in. Uh, when you subtract the y's, you want to make sure that you do the um, same order as you do the x's. So if I do that first point, the 5 first, then I need to do the negative 4 first. So the w subtracting the y's is going to end up being 5 for y1, as I labeled up there, minus a negative 1 over a negative 4 minus 6. And so you're going to end up with, well, plus plus, 5 minus a negative 1 is plus 1, so 6 over negative 4 minus 6, which is negative 10. Now you can simplify this by asking what number goes into both those. Well, 2 goes into 6 and 2 goes into 10, so it's going to be a negative 3 fifths. So the slope of that line is negative 3 fifths. So we look at the other line, and we can go ahead and graph those points to get an idea of what it looks like. Um, so you're going to go 2 over 5 up uh, to graph the first point, and then you're going to graph 6 over 5 up. And what you might notice is they have the same height, right? The, the y value is the same. So that makes it a horizontal line. Well, when you think about a horizontal line, it's going to be, we can use our formula again. It's going to be y1 minus y2. Well, there is no change in the y's, right? 5 minus 5 is just 0. The amount of change of the y's is 0. Look at the x's, 2 minus 6. Well, that's negative 4. So you end up with 0 over negative 4. Well, anything divided by negative 6 or anything, in, anything that divides into 0 is going to be 0. It doesn't matter what you get. So 0 divided by negative 4 just gives you 0. So our slope of our, that line is 0. And what the a theorem you could state is horizontal lines have 0 slope, always. They have, they, they, vertical lines have what we call no slope, but horizontal lines have 0 slope. And this is why, because there is no change in the y value ever.